Hey y'all, welcome back to Rolling with Stone. So today is going to be a foundation review. So I'm going to be reviewing the NARS foundation. This is their natural radiant longwear foundation, you guys. And you know, this was a highly anticipated foundation and everybody has been going out to get it a little bit pricey. I think the foundation is around $50. You can pick it up at Sephora. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so let's just jump right into it. So this is the foundation here. It is the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So it's supposed to have like 16 hours of long wear, and this is per the website. So it's supposed to have 16 hours of long wear. It's supposed to give you a natural finish, radiant finish, um, and lightweight, medium to full coverage, but buildable. So it'll be medium coverage. If you want more of a full coverage, then you'll probably put like another little thin layer on. So the color that I got is Macau, M-A-C-A-O, Macau is the color that I got. So um, on my face, it's already primed and everything. I used um, Alginus um, skincare on there. I'm gonna do a whole separate skincare. My skincare regimen has completely changed. Um, I'm start I started on something different. So I have the Alginus moisturizer on, which has like a slight tacky feel to it. So I feel like I don't necessarily need the primer because I can tell that the foundation is gonna grab a hold of it. If you know, you guys get what I'm saying. So we're gonna go in with this. It has a pump on it, which I love when um, foundations have. Have a pump or I like also when foundations have like those doe foot applicators because you can kind of apply it easy rather than having to pour it out which I don't think anybody really makes those like that anymore so I'm gonna start off with three little pumps so a tiny bit comes out when um when you pump it just a tiny bit so this right here is three pumps so I'm gonna go in with my hourglass foundation brush which is my favorite foundation brush this looks a little bit deep I mean like a little bit deep but yeah it'll work right off the back I can see how radiant it looks I know you guys can probably see it looks really radiant it looks really um, skin like too which NARS is known for that like they're known for making their foundations to look really natural like skin no matter how much coverage it gives you it's still pretty much gonna look sort of like skin for the most part very pretty okay, I'm gonna go in with my Mary Kay concealer the perfecting concealer in the color deep beige for highlighting I'm gonna set the highlighted areas with the air spun loose powder. And for cream contour, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Lancome Tint Edol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. And the color that I'm using is Suede 510 Suede.
And now for another new product for me. This is a product that I've never used before. So this is the Laura Mercier powder, which I always use the Laura Mercier powder on my clients and sometimes on myself. But this one is in the color medium to deep. So the translucent one I've been using for like a couple years now, but this is like the darker color, the medium to deep one. And I'm going to use this to um, set my entire face. So just like lightly dust the powder all over. Comes out like that using a, a fluffy kabuki brush. Taking the Morphe gel liner in the color Slate, I'm just gonna put the little dots underneath the bottom to help that lash line look a little bit more full. For highlight and blush in one, I'm gonna go in with the Glamour's Beat Cosmetics uh, highlighter in the color Gleam, which is like a beautiful rosy gold that has like a pinkish, like a noticeable pink tone to it. So I feel like this would serve as a highlight, give me that glow on top of that, give me the color of a blush. So I'm gonna go in with that. Mm, very pretty. For lipstick today, I'm gonna go in with the Jordana um, Easy Liner Retractable Pencil, which is a lip liner in the color Coco Loco, and then Max Lipstick in the color Baby's All Right. So a new tone. And for gloss, I'm going to go in with MAC Cosmetics Lip Glass in the color Lust. 